Hey guys, it's Justine and today we are unboxing all four of the brand new colors of the iPad mini. I am so excited to check these all out. Not only do I love the new colors, but this iPad mini has been completely redesigned. Also bonus, this is the other iPad that they announced at the Apple event, so we're also gonna unbox this and check it out. But there will be a separate video featuring this one entirely. The new iPad mini comes in four colors. We have the purple, starlight, space gray, and pink. All right, let's open up the pink one first because obviously pink is my favorite color. Oh, wow, look at this. You look so nice. The pink this year is a very light pink. Like if I didn't know that this was pink, I might not actually know that it was pink. So this is the iPad Air in the, I guess, was it rose gold? It isn't even pink either. It's more of like a peachy kind of color. Let's see what else is in here. Look at this little iPad mini document. Nice document, very nice document. So the iPad mini does come with a charging brick. That's exciting. It's also USB-C. I feel like the reason they did this because there was a really good chance that people who are getting this iPad mini may not have one of these USB-C bricks. And it has a USB-C to USB-C cable. Do you know why? The iPad mini is now USB-C. It also has touch ID. Like what? This is what I wanted in an iPhone. Hello? Check out the purple one. This is more of like a lavender kind of color. At least that's what it looked like online. I hope that it matches my shirt. <gasps> okay, it doesn't really match my shirt. It's more of like a bluish purple, whereas this is kind of like a lavender. This is gonna look really good with the purple case that I have over here. I do also have some accessories. And another exciting thing is the iPad mini now supports the Apple Pencil generation two. So you will be able to use the newest version of the Apple Pencil, which is one of my favorite things, not only for using for the iPad, but it also makes a really great way to tie up my hair. Compared to the pink. Oh, these colors look so good together. On to the next one. It's also great because these now support 5G. So if you get a 5G SIM card and you get the cellular version, you'll be able to basically have internet anywhere. So this will kind of be like a phone, a big phone. Okay, this one looks really nice too. They all look really good. Graphite is unboxed, one more to go. This is the color that I'm kind of excited to see because this is a new one that they announced called Starlight. So let's take a look. Oh, look at this. So it might be hard to tell on camera. It's silver, but it does have like a slight little hue of gold. I really like this. And here they are, here's all four colors. I don't really know if I can pick a favorite. As much as I love the pink, I think I'm gonna go with the purple. I think that's gonna be our review unit. And then we have the ninth gen iPad that they announced, and this is the most affordable iPad that you can get on the market. It does still have the old design, but it has been updated and refreshed. So I do just kinda wanna show it to you, just so you guys can see the other option that's out there. Here it is. It pretty much just looks like one of the older iPads. It does still have Touch ID and it looks just like an iPad. <laughs> I will be doing a follow-up video on this one, so be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, so you'll be notified when that goes live. We also have some of the iPad mini smart folios. We have them in three different colors, electric orange, dark cherry, and English lavender. Now this is pretty, I like this a lot. It is kind of almost the same exact color as this, but it looks different because this is so shiny. It's so cute, it's so cute, look at this. Oh, I love it. Oh, this dark cherry actually looks really good too. This is gonna be a tough choice on which one I wanna put on the purple for the review. I feel like this dark cherry actually looks great on this pink. Dark Cherry, I'm a big fan. And last, we have our Electric Orange. This is 
pretty aggressive. Wow. Let's put that on graphite, shall we? These look great. I'm so excited about the iPad mini. I feel like there's so much power in this little tiny device. So here it is. This is the all new iPad mini with 5G, four new colors, second gen Apple Pencil support, upgraded cameras, touch ID, USB-C, 40% faster CPU, 8.3 inch display, and all running on the new iPad OS 15. So the first thing that you're gonna notice about the new iPad mini is this much larger display. It's now edge to edge where the previous mini still had the touch ID on the bottom. This is pretty much game changing as far as iPads are concerned because the iPad mini is now powerful enough to be a real consideration when deciding which iPad you'd want for doing more processor intensive tasks. This also has center stage like the iPad Pro with this new wide angle camera. If you're doing FaceTime calls, it will keep you in the center of focus. And now I really loved when they added this in the new iPad Pros, so I'm so excited that that's an option that they have on here. Hi. Do you see center stage? Do you see what I'm doing? Oh yeah, look at that. Is it a lightsaber? No, that's not a lightsaber. No, that's actually not a lightsaber. That's just, a, that's, uh, that's set decoration. <laughs> One thing that I really wish they would do is move the camera up here to the top because for me, this is technically the top, but for Apple, I feel like this is what they consider the top because most of the time I'm usually using my iPad horizontally like this and it makes for such a better eye line if it's on the top. Either way, with center stage, at least that'll help keep you in the frame properly when you're doing your FaceTime calls. With FaceTime and the new iPad OS 15, you'll be able to do share play so you can watch movies, listen to music, you can share your screen and do so much more just over FaceTime together. FaceTime links is also something new in both iOS and iPad OS 15. So this will let you invite your friends using a web link to join a call no matter what device you're on. Now the camera on the back is also new. It has a 12 megapixel sensor with focus pixels so you'll be able to get sharper and higher quality shots. Now I would not say that this is a device to get if you are really serious about taking mobile photos but with a new front and back camera it's a huge update from the last iPad mini. This will shoot 4k videos but again you are limited to that one wide angle lens for anything that you might be filming. You can also now use the second gen Apple pencil, which is very exciting because I love the design of this pencil so much more than the previous. It has a matte finish and this edge will let you get a better grip of it and it can dock to your iPad for immediate charging and connection. You'll probably remember that last gen and how silly it was to charge with a lightning port sticking out of the side of your iPad. I mean, that's basically a sight that no one could ever forget. Drawing on the iPad always feels like such a magical experience and I'm not an illustrator, but I have definitely had such a fun time messing around in Procreate. I'm I'm so impressed with how many talented people have created so many beautiful masterpieces on these devices. The one thing that I found myself using the Apple Pencil for is creating quick notes. Now on iPad OS, you'll be able to swipe up from the corner to instantly create a quick note. You can also add tags and mentions inside of notes now. And this is so great for making things even more searchable through a tag browser. It's so awesome now that everything in your camera roll is automatically converted to text so you can interact with it and search. I have been using this so much on the iOS 15 beta on my phone for copying phone numbers and even searching for things that I know that I took a photo of and there was text in the scene. Since this is now USB-C, you can plug in accessories and even charge through the port. I mentioned it before, but I will say it again that I really thought that this was a precursor to the iPhone this year having USB-C. Maybe this means that we'll be seeing it next year in iPhone 14 or maybe we won't even see a port at all. It's really hard to say. This does have Wi-Fi 6 along with 5G, which is actually really exciting. I know that everyone is always talking about 5G and for a lot of you guys, you might not even have really good 5G coverage in your area. I do have 5G, but I do not have the ultra wide band, which is so fast. It's so fast that it's actually quicker for me to get in the car, drive down the street to where ultra wide band is, upload the video, which will take like five seconds and drive back home that whole process is quicker than just uploading that video if I were to just sit here and use my regular internet. Anyway, there is two versions of this. There is a Wi-Fi and a cellular, so if you don't plan on getting a cellular plan for it, you can just get the Wi-Fi. I really love the new multitasking menu, so you can easily change how you want the layout to be. There's now also a shelf for apps that have various windows open, making it really easy to select which one you want. Being able to add widgets to your iPad is also really cool. There's a lot of different ones that you can choose from, and of course, you can customize the size to fit the layout that you're going 
for. There's a new contact widget, so you can use this to easily stay in touch with people that you chat with the most. I also really like that they have a Find My widget. I have so many air tags on all of my items, so I love that I can just quickly see where all of my stuff is at. I do love that the app library has now come to the iPad. I've loved using this on my iPhone so much because I don't have to actually have the apps on my home screen. They can just be accessed from the library instead. Another feature that I can't wait to try is universal control. Now they announced this back at WWDC and it's where you'll be able to bring your Mac, your iPad, or even your MacBook next to each other and you'll be able to control all three with the same keyboard and mouse. That's gonna be so awesome and I can't wait to try it. I am so excited for all of the new things that were announced over the past year and now they are finally actually being deployed with the new iPads and the iPhones. I have a feeling there will be more Apple goodies before the end of this year is over, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I get my hands on them. Until then, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, I'm doing weird stuff on TikTok. I'll see you guys later. Bye!